Hello, Uncle and welcome back to Random Redstone. Now, in this video, we are going to be doing something that, <clears throat> well, pretty much everyone uses at some stage, because everyone is going to be cooking things. But, wouldn't it be better if there was a way that was easier than an auto smelter, at the exact same time, let you know when it's finished? Pretty much, so, just like a microwave, really. So, here we have two Redstone microwaves. So, we have a nice, big, massive microwave here. And we also have a nice small microwave here. Obviously, the big one is capable of doing more than the small one, but they are still fully working and automated, well, microwaves. <laughs> so, and the cool thing about them is the fuel for them are, is coal, and the, the very, very, very coolest thing is that all the coal and the food goes in the same input. So you just throw it into into here, so we just throw all these potatoes into here, and this was going to get to work, and we put all of it into here. And just to prove that also it can handle coal going in, I'll put half of it in this one, so it can handle the coal going through the system, and I'll also put the other half in here. There it goes, you've just heard the ding, that was probably from this machine, but it, when it dings, it means that actually it's, well, it's all pretty much got everything ready. So as you can see, it's dinging every single time one of the items is going into the chest. So as you can see, there's two jacket potatoes in there, so every single time another one goes in, it's actually pretty much making it go ding. And let's see how it's doing when it comes to sorting it out. So, it's got coal going in there. Is it taking the coal? Yeah, it's taking the coal. And it's, it's pretty much sorted every single bit of the coal out, which is absolutely amazing, because you don't have to worry about actually going through and just sorting everything out. Now, let's go into this one. Yep, you'll see all of the coals in this dropper, because this dropper is acting as storage. And, yeah, this one is just simply amazing. But, let's go through how they work now. I might as well just turn to save these note blocks because otherwise it's just going to get annoying. It doesn't have to be going high pitch ding. It can you can change it so you put like a block underneath it because I have made it so you can put a block underneath it. But if you want to put a block underneath it, you can change it to pretty much any single noise you can if, if you want. You can even make it so I, I don't know so it links to like a doorbell or something like that, and then it has every single time a produce comes through it, it plays a song or something like that. I don't know whatever whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But the, uh, pretty much the whole thing for this is actually simpler than you think, is pretty much for this one, I'll go for this one first because that one is pretty much a bigger version of this. Pretty much yeah, everything goes through here and it goes through here, this is an item sorter and the, and pretty much when one of these sorters, there is, there is one there and I will put a link in the description to item sorters so you can see how they work and everything. And there's an item sorter here which pretty much makes your all of the coal is taken out which then puts the coal into here. Everything that is not sorted, it puts straight into the top as as food, well, that needs to be cooked, and then it takes it out here and puts it into the chest, ready for you to eat. So that one's that one. It's incredibly simple. We just have a comparator over here with with the note block. It's incredibly simple. I'm not going to go into the sorter because there is a video about that there. So yeah. Now this one is big. It's a biggie. So. Yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of hoppers, and I mean a lot. And that's because this one can handle a lot more than that small one can. This one can handle literally you throwing tons of things. I had a little mini mess around with this, and I was I was literally throwing everything I could. I was throwing beef, potatoes, fish, coal, everything, just into that main storage area up here. And just seeing if it could handle it, and it handled it with ease. It was absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe it. But here again, we have our we have our sorting system, which is detecting the coal, which puts it in this hopper, which then goes up here, up here, down there, into this to give us even more coal, which is just frankly amazing. And there we go. So, you, know, are you going to give us more? Are you giving us more coal every now and then, or Let's have a look? Are you giving us any more coal? No. Right, okay, still. <laughs> Here we have the redstone clock, which is pretty much powering all these droppers to make sure these, that pretty much all the hoppers stay around the same height. And pretty much all of them are linked together and everything, like this. Now, this hopper you don't have to have. If you want, you can actually get rid of it by just doing... Let me just put that there. Just by doing that, really. It's incredibly simple, and then you just feed all the coal back in. Simple as, really. And, yeah, let's just go down here and break all of that, and then... 
And then it's just the hopper system. You don't have to have the storage system. It is up to you. But if you do, you put it up there, down there, down there. I kind of think it's incredibly simple, really. Now, when it comes to... Oh, don't want to break that. Don't want to break that. No, 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 no. Fail, 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 fail. Actually, no, that's not really much of a fail because it locks automatically if you break this. So, that's a bit of a, a bit of a good feature to have. Now, it also, at the same time, this clock goes up here to this light, which flashes, to let you know it's actually working. <clears throat> now, there is two lights you need to be paying attention with this machine. There is the machine light in here. That if it's not flashing, then you need to check the redstone clock. There is this one here, that if turned off, then that means there is no items in the furnace, which... Well, either means a you haven't got you haven't actually got pretty much any coal in there, or b well then yeah you've got nothing really in there. If it is on, that light is on, and yes it is not working at all, then it must mean that you have some item that is not combustible in the coal area, or you have an item that can't be cooked in the cooking area. So it's as simple as that. That light can tell you a lot. It's incredibly helpful. And in order to get your your stuff with this machine, all of it is in this pretty much area here. You throw it all in there, and then you get it out by going in this chest here. Incredibly nice machine, and incredibly useful. So let's go through the whole thing of this. I know I went through tiny bits of it. And, yeah, pretty much. So when you have this, all the things actually being put in, it goes into this dropper here, which gets pretty much gets powered by this clock here. Then it goes through here, through here, into the sorting system here. If it's coal, it goes down into the machine there. If it is not coal, it gets feeded along here and actually puts into there. Like that. Once it is being cooked, it gets put through here, through here, and into this dropper, which pushes it up into this hopper, and then up through all these droppers, and through all these hoppers, and then into that chest. It is really, really simple redstone. And, yeah, I'll put the note block back now, but every single time it does go through, this actually detects it like it did then. And the note block will go off, so I'm going to put the note blocks back now, so, so you'll be able to actually find out how fast they are. So, there we go. There we go. So, awesome. So, yeah, these machines are incredibly useful. I've already actually done a few tests with them, and honestly, I would recommend this one more than that one. Because this one, you are limited to how much you can do. You're limited to the amount of produce you can actually put in this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And, well, this one, you are really, seriously not limited that much. Mainly as you have all the space of these hoppers. You have the space of this hopper. You have the, the hopper. This is a um, dropper. So you have all these hoppers. You have the dropper. And you have all of these, all of these, all of these. So this has a lot more storage and capabilities. It is, uh, frankly, amazing. So if you want something which you can literally just chuck tons of items in, almost like a chest full, then you just, I would definitely recommend this one. Now, the coolest thing about this one is, really, if you wanted to do something over the top, you could even put a chest there and literally just leave it there and then just chuck all your stuff in the chest and it would sort the che all the stuff in the chest. It is absolutely amazing, this machine. But, uh, yeah, I know this is actually a bit like the Redstone Auto Smelters, but at the same time, this isn't because it's a Redstone Microwave and the Redstone Microwave actually notifies you when it is finished. But the red, and the Redstone Auto Smelter does not. If you want to see my video on Redstone Auto Smelters, I will put that in the description below, so you can go check that out. But yeah, until next time, bye!